everybody, I hope you are well. I'm Katie and I'm back again this week with another beginner's kind of guide to doing crawl work. This time I'm going to be doing Wordsworth's Cuckoo. So today I'm going to take you through what's in the kit. Now, as we work through this kit, I'm going to be using Philippa's stitching lessons, to going through each individual stitch to go alongside the instructions which are in in the kits because some of us are more visual learners some of us can do it better by just reading and seeing the images so i'm really looking forward to kind of using philippa's knowledge to better my own technique which is really exciting so yeah we're going to be opening the cuckoos the cuckoo kit wordsworth cuckoo now inside the kits there is everything you need to get started so we've got the wool pack which are like this so if we open this up and inside the wool pack there's also the needles safely in a little bag so you don't have to worry about pricking your finger when you open them so this is the first time i've used colors so far the two kits that i've done have just been the red work ones so i'm really excited to kind of learn how to use the colors and stuff i'm going to be making this one into a pillow as well the instructions are inside to show you how to do that so these are the colors i love the range of colors and then inside you have the needles and in this little bag are the beads which go on it so i've not done any bead work yet either so there's a lot of new things i'm going to be learning at this time round, which i'm really excited about so then the other kit part of the kit is this which has the instruction book the stitch chart and the important thing which is the linen to get started as well so inside we've got this beautiful linen which is like this which is just gorgeous i'm really excited to get started on this i love the colors and i just love kind of the design so i'll just put that to the side there then inside we also have the really important stitch chart which which, I've got, which i'm gonna has all of the different stitches alongside which color and on the on the walls i'll just get them here they have a number on them and that is the number for the color which coincides with with the colors on the stitch chart so this is definitely going to be more complicated than my last ones but i'm excited to kind of have a bit more of a challenge this time i'm really looking forward to it there's also inside which is really important for newcomers the essential guide for newcomers to cruel work embroidery and this is taking us through each of the stitches now i know from the last ones i've done that the instructions in here are what you need like if you follow these you're going to be fine but i'm really looking forward to during this project taking using philippa's videos as well alongside where she goes through the individual stitches and kind of tells you more about them gives a bit more kind of knowledge around them as well as different techniques to get it just right so i'm really looking forward to that and it also tells you how to move from colors which is something i'm slightly scared about but i'm sure we will be fine I'm sure we will be fine <laughs> and then also inside is the important stitch instructions which also takes you through preparing which we did preparing the linen which we did in the last series last week about putting it onto the hoop and using the clean film method which is really important to kind of keep the linen protected it's really important to use the clean film because you don't want to damage the linen especially when you're going to be making it into such beautiful things um inside which is new this time as well is the like soft shading which i'm definitely that's what i'm looking forward to kind of learning um there's also different knots as well as all the different stitches so i'm going to be have, i'm going to have a good read through this and then tomorrow we're going to start getting on with the first stitch so i really hope that you can join me on doing this and i hope you find this useful especially if you're a newcomer to cruel work because it's not as scary as you think it is i know personally that the, i was terrified of doing my first kit in case, case i made a mistake but actually i had so much fun doing it and i got through it really quickly because you just fall in love with it straight away so i'm really excited to get on with this kit so i hope you can join me on this i'll see you tomorrow bye